The Cardinals coming off their historic Super Bowl run, welcoming the 49ers in Week 1, a team they beat twice last year. In fact, the Cardinals beat everybody in the NFC West twice last year. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horvitz, NFL.com's hey, Pat Kerwin. Glad to be with you on the NFL Preview Show presented by Tyson Anytizers. And Pat, you, you talk about Arizona and you talk about a team that was a great surprise last year, a fantastic story, and a really good team at the end of the year. But historically, at least in this decade, you look at teams that lose the Super Bowl, it's not good the next season. No, traditionally they fall right out of the picture, not even as a playoff contender. Um, but Ken Wisenhunt went and met with his team the first day of OTAs, and that's been the theme and the story, and he's been pounding it into him. Now, here's another team I visited this summer, and there was no chance that they weren't thinking about that as and what causes that, the complacency that comes with getting to a Super Bowl. They didn't reach their final goal, and from to a man, they are not satisfied with where they got last year. So I'm expecting them to do much better than most teams. And, and one specific man is Larry Fitzgerald. His record setting everything in the postseason, his, his touchdowns in the postseason, his yards, his catches. Uh, he is a guy that is, is starting to become very well known for his workouts and, and not being complacent. What does San Francisco do to try and stop him? Well, San Francisco, another team I got a chance to watch this summer. Here's, they have to get after the quarterback. You cannot let Kurt Warner get into a rhythm passing attack with all the weapons. I think Bolden's struggling with his hamstring, as always, but he's going to play. you got to go get him. And that falls on guys like Manny Lawson, who have never delivered. Now, the defense is better in San Francisco under Mike, and I think they're 5-2 and two since Mike Singletary took over. But they're great about stopping the run. Getting to the quarterback's an issue. If the ball gets off, I will say the 49ers look pretty good to me in the secondary this year, but they need pass rush pressure, and that's where the challenge is to pick them to win. Yeah, 5-4 five, five and four under Mike Singletary after he took over last year, Pat. But now he's had an entire year to change everything uh, going on with San Francisco. Where do you see the biggest change with the 49ers? Well, just study them this summer when he had a chance. He committed himself to the run. He gave Frank Gore basically a summer off. He barely carried the football, but everyone else who carried the football, Corey Sheets is on the practice squad, every one of them did a fine job, and they were almost running the ball 40 times a game. The offensive line did a nice job all summer. Then they go out and pick up Tony Pachos, who would not take a pay cut from Jacksonville, a terrific run-blocking right tackle. They're going to go out to Arizona and commit themselves to the run, and even when they're losing by a touchdown, they are not going to surrender. That They know their quarterback's not really capable of being a come from behind throwing quarterback. Crabtree never showed up for camp. Right. So this is a run football team playing very conservative and trying to play defense. And that's one of the nice things too here for San Francisco is they finally get to be able to put that aside for at least a day and say mm -hmm. we're playing football with or without Michael Crab Crabtree. It, it doesn't make a difference to us at this point that he's not in camp and a guy that I know you like is Josh Morgan to go out and make some plays uh, with Crabtree being absent. You look at this, this, these two teams, though. Arizona, the defense started to get really good. They were able to run the football. They go out and get Beanie Wells out, of course, in the playoffs because they couldn't run it in the regular season. San Francisco is going to commit to the run. Who's going to do what they do better in week one? Well, it's at home, and Arizona at home with that passing attack is going to be terrific. And if you tell me that Kurt Warner is going to throw the ball 35 times and you're not going to get to him but maybe one sack, uh, I don't see how the Arizona Cardinals can lose. I don't see how San Francisco can stay up with the scoring pace of this football team. Beanie Wells and those players, I know Kenny Wisenhunt's a Steeler guy, and everyone says he's trying to get to be a run team. No, he's not. He's trying to build his four-minute offense. So when he has leads, he knows how to chew clock. That's what they're really trying to do with the run game in Arizona. All right, and you like the Cardinals to win. I like the Cardinals, but this is not going to be easy because yeah. a lot of people think the 49ers are, are, are on their way to the playoffs and maybe a division title. I'm not ready for that yet, but I think this game is a statement game for San Francisco. Wish it was home for them. If it was home, I might have taken them. On the road, I'll take the uh, Arizona Cardinals. San Francisco's better. Seattle's got to be better from yes, last they year. Do. Arizona, you can't expect them to run the table and go 6-0 in the division like they did a year ago. For more on this game, be sure to stay right here with CBSSports.com. It's a 4.15 p.m. Eastern kick. And uh, that'll do it for the NFL Preview Show presented by Tyson Anytizers, the meaty good man snack. For Pat Kerwin, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.